Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering how to set up your code space for CS50 using SSH or personal access token. Let's get started. Log into CS50.dev using your GitHub account. So log in. All right, this is my account. Uh, and authorize CS50. And this portion will take a while and there you go so this is your vs code environment on the cloud code spaces all right then you will see welcome tabs you can close it for the time being um, and you have to log in to submit.cs50.io to authorize and to activate cs uh, and to activate check 50. all right so yeah authorize cs50 again but you will notice a problem all right when you are using check 50 or submit 50 there seems to be some problems which i'll show you right now so for example i close my tabs and want to go to cs50 uh, code spaces again right login all right, so now we are in code spaces for CS50. And let's say we attempted uh, population, um, the lab, okay? Yes. Okay, so uh, let me just download the required files. Allow, and you can just use Control Shift V to paste, um, paste stuff on your terminal. And now we have our files, right? Let's say we are done with coding and we want to use check 50, right? Check 50. Okay, so let's say we are done and we want to check if our code is correct. Although we didn't really type anything. You will notice that it says GitHub now requires that you use SSH or personal access token instead of password to login. But you can still use check 50 and submit 50. You can access this link but you'll see that it's it's not explaining how you can use check 50 and submit 50 without logging in. All right, so it, it just says it's no longer necessary to configure SSH or create personal access token. Um, it will just work, but it seems like it's not just working, right? So like, for example, let's try check 50 again. It's not working. VS Code is asking you to enter your personal access token. So, all right. The reason why you guys came to this video is to see how to set up the personal access token or SSH, right? So um, let's see. You see here that they mentioned that SSH is more convenient for Visual Studio Code and CS50 IDE. And personal access tokens are more convenient for CS50 Sandbox and CS50 Lab. And in my experience, I see that SSH is more used and seems to be the more practiced the more practiced version in the case of SSH versus personal access token. So I'll be covering SSH first. I'll probably also be covering personal access token for those of you who want to use personal access token, I guess. But SSH is much more convenient like they mentioned. All right, so let's see. How do we set up SSH? All right, let me close this. Execute SSH keygen. Control uh, Control C. Uh, sorry, let me just get rid of that. Control Shift V. SSH keygen. When prompted, uh, yeah, okay. Enter, and then for the passphrase, you can just press Enter and Enter as per the instructions. All right, then execute this, and you'll see your public key. All right, nice. Okay, then you can go on to GitHub.com settings keys. To set up your ssh key new ssh key and you can enter a title i'll just name it uh, cs50 and you can paste from here onwards all the way to the end okay add ssh key execute this okay Th this i'm assuming is just to test if your ssh has been configured properly and yes hi sajit7171 
you've been successfully authenticated but github does not provide shell access so now we are done and you'll see that um check 50 works yeah so it works but uh everything is red frowny faces um and since i'm already at it i shall just go through how to do personal access token as well so um visit github.com slash security settings slash security what no i don't want to do two-factor authentication at the moment okay so um click settings slash token all right and then you can as per the instructions generate new token which is in token classic um classic once again so note cs50 all right Ah, uh, yeah, I'll just use CS50 IDE since they mentioned CS50 IDE. And no expiration. And check repo under select scopes. Alright. And then generate token. And then um, you can copy this token and... Here, they asked you to uh, enter your personal access token, right? You can just uh, copy and paste here. And yeah, make sure you copy and paste your personal access token uh, somewhere private because you won't be able to see this token ever again. So in case you need it again, um, just make sure you have it somewhere uh, stored. All right. Okay, so this video just summarizes how to set up your SSH and personal access token for uh, CS50 code spaces. Hope you enjoyed if it helped you, um, hit the like button. If you still have any questions, comment down below and um, hit the subscribe button. It will help the channel. And see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.